So here we have a uh, basic lemur enclosure. Most of it's together by zip ties and wiring, but we have some basic PVC that we have hooked up, zip tied and drilled some holes. And some makeshift uh, Tupperware bins for now for food. It's easier to feed them this way. That's uh, Obi, Mr. Atlas with the yellow eyes. And this is the female boss. This is Naira, Matriarch Society, Ringtail Lemurs, females. So there's a lock on the gate. This kind of serves as a catch door into the other side. So when I want the lemurs to stay over here, I'll come over to this side and bring that door, swing it shut the other way, and I can clean out this enclosure and do what I need to do to it. It's got their little fountain that I turned off right now, nest box, and ample shade if they want, some brush here. So this enclosure on this side is uh, six feet tall, eight feet wide and 10 feet long. And then we have this catch tunnel that we kind of created here. Excuse me. And that is uh, roughly two feet wide going into the other enclosure which is the same dimensions as the other enclosure. Six by eight by ten. This has lots of areca palms used for shade and enrichment. And they can have access to both enclosures openly when they want. It's just nice to have the double catchment system there. So you'll see Obi walking back. They like it on this side more. So this is kind of a basic uh, sample prototype. We'll want to beef up the um, supports there in the middle frames keep the roofing up and get a better system for the, the feeding. I'd like to have a nice smaller screened block square, maybe four inches by four inches to place in front. So when we go away on vacation it's easier for people to feed, putting food in there without them reaching out. And then get a better kind of tub for this, something removable that can be taken in or out, easy to clean. But it sets the deal for now. We had a neighbor that cut down this gigantic tree and the tree company was really nice and delivered it right into my backyard and put it in the enclosure and so I was able to get a neighbor to donate all these branches, which is very nice for the lemurs. And my neighbors occasionally bring fruit for them and bananas and bags of mangoes. Little notes on them that say for the monkeys. It's kind of nice. So I'll keep you posted on the constructions and the details. Cedar chips there. Some cypress mulch mixed in. Goes all the way around. And ficus trees.